Okay, so, um, as we go to this next part of the series, I'd like to share that in between videos, I kind of took care of this little camel with the softer grit sandpaper and did so with this these lambs and kind of did a little extra sanding on these wise men just to kind of see how they'd go, but I'd say that as for the saw marks that were in them, there would just be a little extra work to kind of take out from what all we do, what all we have, what all we make, and then come down to where we just um, kind of, I'd say, like, um, go to carving along the little corners of the wise man's robes and get the work done along this side of it to get the little ways that we work along things to make it so it's going to come down where we need to see it to be and all the things in life we try I say this is going to be the work it's going to come to be when we really get down to the last little stroll of the place and then we'll come along we already got these certain corners but I think we're going to come up to this point too and try to take care of this little part of the robe we got here and kind of shave alongside of that to try to get it so it's going to be in just the good shape it's going to be to where we will see something come out of this little wise man that shall make a little carving for us I say this just kind of works its best when we work alongside of things just to kind of get the best out of what we do I say that um it's going to come a time when we're going to take care of these two corners here try to remove all this excess wood now try to take on and kind of get the work put in where it's going to look like a little wise man does when we get down to the work and see what it's going to be like as we come down to the last little piece kind of come down to where we make a little corner on the edge and work along like the way this works I say make it so it's going to be a bright little light to come and see a little beauty in the king I say there have been a lot of kings in the Bible but as for these little wise men you know there's been other little stories told I mean some say they came on camels and there's even that song that says they came in on ships but nobody knows for certain there's no answer from the Bible or from God there's probably answers given by man and that's about it we don't really have any records or any history of these things but we know that things are told to us in scripture just the way they are and I say that this is how we come along here make it so we see a little wise man come along and put the work into the very thing we do and 
I say kind of like how it's all going to make its way to us. We're going to get done with the picture sooner or later. Make it so he's going to be a good little king with us and make it so we're going to kind of know our ways with him to what we will do and what we can do. I say that this is just where I think we kind of got a little back in the road there and I'd say we probably going to work along try to see how many of more of these little saw marks we can get rid of as we come along the wise man and work our little way among his little coat and his little robe and see how things are going to turn out for us when we get them all done and how he's going to be when the work finally gets done so freely and so evenly and make it so we're going to bright days come ahead and oh I say what a lot of work comes in this man see how he's going to be I say as for now there's little saw marks on the back of his head we got to get rid of those and sometimes I'd say a knife can be a little way to rough things out a little bit and on the back of the crown too there are some so we're gonna get rid of that best we can see how he's going to be to come out to things like this and I think I see a few on the front of the crown too. Might go ahead and get rid of those. And if there's any on the face, that's going to be done out when we go to work on his face. So I think with this Kentucky coffee tree being the hardest pieces we have, we'll go ahead and kind of carve along here among the back of the robe to try to get rid of all that we don't need there and try to see how he's going to make it when we get done with him to put him where he's going to be a bright little king of all kings and glories and oh take it away I say and by the way you know put little marks on him as we do this we've got little places to take little places to go and as we work our way up the wise man we're going to get rid of all those lasting marks and kind of take it where we're going to go and put the little weight on him and see what he's going to be and so I'd say all these chips are just flying every which away so kind of got to get the thing on the rest of the way the little thumb guard and kind of work where we know what's best for us know what's good for us to do and then kind of have a little ways with what it's going to be like when it all comes down to the end of the work time I say it's just going to be another year to come when we're going to have a little more to work on as we go about this time. We say that 
we don't know what we're going to get sold this year, how much we're going to owe in taxes, but I say that this is just kind of some extra bit of work to do. I think I'm going to go ahead, remove the saw marks from the back of the road to this guy, and I'd say maybe just um, when I get along to the back of the head, try to work on that as well, and see how this is just one little thing after another for how wise men shall turn out in the end, making it so we're going to see little brighter days, brighter images coming out of this type of thing to where we're, we know a little work must be done, and so time shall come, we're going to work our way up a little more, and get rid of them from the slant at the back of the road, and some more work is going to come along here later, and there were some steps we kind of got reversed in order here, and I'd say that with the last wise man, of course, we did the corners at the front first, but with this one, that ends up being the last thing we do, so at least for this particular step of the project and how it goes. That's how it's going to be, and so I say we got the piece where it works itself in, and I mean, you know, little things we talked about with my mom yesterday about how with that other nativity set I carved, how Joseph was taller than Mary, Joseph, the shepherd was taller than Joseph, and how... King Melchior was taller than the shepherd, and then there was King Bath, King Gaspar, a little taller than that. King Balthazar, a little taller than King Gaspar, and she tells me, you know, that's all just a guess, don't you? There's really no record, nobody knows. And I said, well, I assumed that. I said, I knew when they put it in the book, it was just all about the front pieces being shorter, so you could see them a little more easier, and the pieces in the back being taller so you could see them a little more easier and she kind of told me yes that's the point of it all so I'd probably already figured that out by then so already knew that there's little little bitty saw marks at the front of the crown we're going to remove probably on this one a few ones at the side we'll remove and probably a few on the back of the crown will remove as well. Got kind of got to check on my other one. And, well, I'd say there's little saw marks on the side or places where the wood got a little rough on the side. So, kind of got to work about that. Get rid of all those little marks to try to make it so he's going to be an outstanding shepherd and I'd say that this is just one of these works that has a little piece in it and oh I say come along come along we know that this can be a hard step to take and hard to go about but we know that there's a lot of work to what you make anytime you make anything so that's how you kind of want to do it if you're going to sell it and make a little money off of it and that's just I'd say for so much of the world just how this whole industry is going to go sometimes we say that there's little work to do work to take and I'd say for time when we try real hard and work real hard we know that 
so many things will work for the better and make things turn out just a little bit better and as for now just some little places to get rid of little things and then that's where we know that this is where work shall come in this is a time when we work real hard to do what we do and I'd say some of the same steps will be taken on the other wise men as well but you know as for these ones here probably kind of tired ourselves out doing it but think I've got another idea while we are at it and think it might be a good idea to go ahead and draw little lines in to make these little faces on these wise men and see how that's going to come out little line I made here to put the nose right in place and so this is what you see here got this little line here we're going to try to make another little line here to go above right in the center of the eye and make it so we got a good king to be made and then just to try to put a little time work effort into the other little king as well and make sure we got the nose right in the right place and so I say that this little time in life when a little time and work goes into what we make and what we do I say little king is just going to be a little blessed work in itself and oh good times make things better I say there's just a lot that happens when you get real busy well, say I got a little shavings everywhere, but these last couple, this last video, I mean, I did in my pajamas, and say I'm kind of doing this one the same way. It's how we're kind of turning them out right now. It is 10:30, so probably should be more dressed than that. So I say that there's probably little steps we can take come along the way. And I say that this little king is going to be in his low place. And so, as for how we're going to work about this, I say, one little thing we do, kind of got this little walnut one here. I think we got the worst of the saw marks sanded out of this one. It was a little bit easier to sand because it was a little softer, but I'd say that we might get little types of work done in him, maybe, so probably I'd say get a little bit of a sharper knife to do it with and work our way along the sides of him. See how wise men can turn out so much for the good and the better and of all things how we work about this to kind of show that this little wise man is just a little ways coming to us and we kind of get rid of all his little places on the corners. There are some places back here that might be a little harder to get right now, but we're going to take care of those when the time comes to do so. This video, it's not going to be too much longer from now because we've got a little ways and steps to take and ways to go to get things a little further down the line. I think this one probably has... A little more saw mark on the front than the other one did this must have been a worse 
tougher piece, so it might not have been easier as easy to sand it all off that time around, but we kind of do, and we're getting that little issue just taken care of as it is. Oh, seems like yesterday we worked our way down to make what we do and see what we do, and oh, little time and work, I say, times and work and little ways we kind of work about all the that kinds of things we're going to do in life, make it so we kind of have what we see, what we know, and with all this little business we got, we got a little time to put things aside and kind of work a little ways into things, I say, and sometimes I say that just for longer, cuffier sleeves, that's what we'll do. As for now, I think we might take care of the little poplar one too. Thought we got the worst of it off, but we didn't even sand this one. It was probably a little bit more of a complicated piece to sand because of how it because it how it came out. But I won't say that. But probably thought it wouldn't require as much because it's a softer wood. But that's how we're going to work our way along this. Get rid of these little saw marks on it as we can. And probably kind of do away with some saw marks that are on the sleeves. And go down a little bit to where we kind of see how the sides of the robe shall come in. Make it so we're going to make a little bright king to see and oh the work that gets done think that there's little marks on the back of the head of this one get rid of those and it all comes to where we were sawing the piece to make different little things at different little times and just how the things came out in different ways and then the piece was already kind of a little shaped like this when I took it out so I cut that little triangle in there to make this little shape we came up with for this king and then did that with quite a few of these pieces of wood so they came out good as they could nice as they could so I'd say that I don't know how many subscribers I expect to come to this page, but would appreciate if those of you who watch, if it so interests you to subscribe, that you will. If I get more subscribers, I might be able to kind of do some lives maybe sooner or later and have them come on to do, and I'd say that there's just kind of like times when we'll have little premieres and things. Oh, I say that I just have a lot to upload and a lot to share and so much time in my hands to do what I do. People think I'm retired because of all I get time to do, but literally I'm disabled, so that's kind of why my job's only part-time and why I kind of have the extra time to do a lot of what I do whenever it comes to the wood carving and things and so we got a look another little one to go here where we kind of shave along here to get rid of these little marks flatten things out a little more see them come out for the better and the best and then kind of make it so this little king shell 
be a little masterpiece in the end come by and do a little work make a little place on its head where we remove the extra saw marks that make the piece in the shape that it is and come along shave around the back and all I'd say we're going to get around to the walnut piece eventually but it's going to take a little time to do when we get around to it so might even do that a little separate from the video maybe and as you see there are saw marks down here along the slant so want to kind of get rid of those the best we can see how we're going to come out with a much better king and wise man in the end and how this is going to work a little ways in us to see little brighter images of all we know and all we have and all we do oh bless little times in life where children know all good things as far as what we go to and what we do and Oh, bright days, I say, bright nights, oh, blessed times in our lives. We do the work that we get called to do, and as for now, I think I've got a couple little corners to take off of this one, and it's going to be coming out a little better indeed, and as for the time... I'd say maybe there's some saw marks on the front of the crown we'll get rid of here. Check and see if there's any on the back. I think we got all this taken care of, so it's turning out for the better. We don't know what we're going to have in the end when it all comes down to the last bit of the work, but I'd say that we're doing so good that it's all going to be so much better, I say. And with all little bits of work coming in, as far as what we're doing, I say little wise men are going to make a little ways, see us all as just the way we are and how we do. I tell y'all, I can't stand up to brush off because, like I say, I'm in my pajamas. I would have to turn off the camera first to do that. It kind of gets where sometimes I say this pan gets the worst of the chips, but sometimes you have to get up and shake them off your own clothes and kind of get it where it's just the time when we got a little life and light and liberty in our work. Oh, I say little things come and go and I say we've got the light coming into us to brighten our paths. Like the Bible says, thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light to my path. Well, hidest words of my heart that I might not sin against thee. And with little things, we're coming along now. I'd like to say that there's going to be a little more sanding to do as we go further along. And good thing I got a slightly coarser grit this time so I can work about it and get rid of the things that need to be sanded off and like they always say start out with a rough grit and go to a lighter grit the rough grit gets the worst of the unevenness out and the light grit kind of smooths it out so with this work in mind and this work in place we see that there's a lot of work to be done as we move forward in life, take care of little things, take care of what we do. 
I'd say these are probably going to be the easiest wise men when they come out. And perhaps in another video I might demonstrate a little carving of their faces. But I think it's time to end this one. And I hope that if you get a chance and if it so interests you, you will subscribe to this page. And thank you for watching and take care and see you in the next video.